let us look at proposition number 42 of book 10 of Euclid's Elements. The proposition says, a binomial straight line is divided into its terms at one point only. This and, and the next few propositions uh, talks of the various types of uh, straight lines that we have seen uh, being divided into uh, its terms and we proving it that it can happen at only one point. So here we are talking of binomial straight line. So let's see how we can prove that there is only one point at which AB can be divided into its terms. Okay, so let AB be a binomial straight line divided into its terms at C. Then AC and BC are rational straight lines commensurable in square only. Okay, and what the proposition is saying is that this is the only point at which AB can be divided into two terms which are rational straight lines commensurable in square only. If possible, let it be divided into its terms at D also, which means AD and DB are also rational straight lines commensurable in square only. And here AC is not equal to DB. AC is not equal to db because assuming ac is equal to db then ac is equal to ad plus cd similarly db is equal to bc plus cd which basically implies that ad is equal to bc which means we can write it as a proportion ac is to cb is equal to bd is to da what would that imply it would imply that AB is divided at D in the same way as C. But that's a contradiction since D is a different point than C on AB. So AC cannot be equal to DB. Okay, now let's take the midpoint of AB. And here, since AC is not equal to DB, Point C and D are not equidistant from E. That is, DE is not equal to CE. So now, AB square is equal to AC square plus BC square plus 2 times AC by BC. Similarly, we can also say AB square is equal to AD square plus DB square plus 2 times AD by BD. And here, if you notice, the left hand sides are the same. So that means the right hand sides will also be the same. So AC square plus BC square plus 2 times AC by BC is equal to AD square plus DB square plus 2 times AD by D. Or we can write this in this way also AC square plus BC square minus AD square plus DB square is equal to 2 times AD by DB minus 2 times AC by BC. Now here, AC square is rational, BC square is rational because they are rational straight lines commensurable in square only. So AC square is rational, BC square is rational, that means their sum is also rational. Similarly, AD square is rational, DB square is rational, that means their sum is also rational. So that when we take the difference, that will also be rational. Now here left hand side is rational, that would imply that the right hand side will also be rational. That is a contradiction. Why? Because they are supposed to be medial. Why? Because AD by DB is a rectangle formed by two straight lines AD and DB which are rational in square. So that means this rectangle is going to be irrational. Similarly, this is also going to be irrational. A side of a square which is irrational is medial. So these two rectangles are medial but our 
logic takes us to the fact that it is irrational. So we have a contradiction or to be more precise, a medial area does not exceed a medial area by a rational area. These two rectangles are medial areas and the difference cannot be or in other words, AD by DB cannot exceed AC by BC by a rational area. And because of this contradiction, we can say that D does not divide AB into its terms. And C is the only point at which AB divides into its terms. So that is proposition number 42 of book 10 of Euclid's Elements. Again, let me remind you, there is a link to a PDF book which describes all these propositions in detail. Please feel free to download it, refer to it. And if you think somebody else can also benefit from it, please do share. That's it for now. Bye.